What's up guys, Caddy here. Now today I bring you guys the second battle with our Hooper Unbound team. Now I've made one change to the team. I've changed out Sylveon for Vaporeon. Uh, but mainly because it can handle water types a lot better. We've got the Scald as well, uh, which while it doesn't hit as hard, has the chance to burn and things like that. So I think that's okay. And then alongside that as well, we also have Wish Protect and then Heal Bell as well, just a bit more support for our team. Hopefully that's going to make enough difference and uh, be a little bit of a pivot as well. We could change that for Baton Pass. But I think for the time being, that's probably what we're going to leave it at. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to jump straight into a battle. Not with that team. We're going to be using the proper Hooper team, which for some reason I'm not labeled as OU, but that should be fine. Okay, so we're in a battle against a guy that's got... Oh, we've got two teams. Okay, uh, well that one I have to forfeit because that's the wrong team, unfortunately. Um, okay. Looking to be a mega, mega lock on your team. The Gengar is a little bit scary. Quite a fast team. Uh, which is definitely going to be interesting. Now, in terms of lead, there's a few things that could be leading here. We could either have the lop honey lead here. Uh, the Heatran could lead. Ah, lots and lots and lots of options. What I do see is a lack of defogging options, though. Which definitely helps us a lot. We have to watch out with the Heatran with Flash Fire. Um, Landorus could put in some work as well, especially if he leads off with that, which I'm kind of feeling like he will do. And to be honest, even if he leads off Mega Lopunny, I am, um, bulky offensive. Actually, I think I'm defensive. Yeah, I'm defensive. So I should be able to handle that. Oh, I guess Ice Punch is a thing, though. Um, what we'll do is we'll lead Landorus. We'll lead Landorus and we'll play it by ear. If he decides to lead Mega Lopunny, okay. He isn't Air Balloon. Okay. I think what we do here, the Gengar is really obviously coming out here, um, but the question is what can I do about that? I have two options, I can either U-turn here and go out then into Victini, which means a free, uh, probably not much, um, he has got resistance to everything apart from Bolt Strike, but will Bolt Strike kill will be the question. My attack seems very low looking at that. Have I made a mistake with the Victini? No, no, okay. I always, I always underestimate how much base 100s are. And what we're going to do is we're going to go for... I think Stealth Rocks here is the best option. He is going to go out into Gengar. He doesn't? Okay. Well, what we can do here is we should outspeed this guy. Uh, yeah, guaranteed. So we're just going to go for a U-turn. And... The question is, what's he going to do? Is he going to go out... Is he going to go for the Scald? Or is he going to go for Ice Beam? I have a feeling the Ice Beam is coming, which makes me want to go out to Menentric. Because I can punish something really well with that. Uh, that that Thunderbolt hit will do so much damage. And I think it's the way to go, because I can always heal Bell up after that. Please don't burn. Good. Okay. Right, I know I, I know we took a lot of damage there, but we have, we have ways to heal that back up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a T-Bolt. Because a T-Bolt should kill this guy. And even this Heatran isn't going to appreciate this. <sighs> At least I hope. Okay, that does a lot less than I hoped. Um, must be... Okay, this is especially defensive Heatran. But that's not a problem. We can always just go for the Volt Switch. Yeah, we, we can go for the Volt Switch here. And that means we can go out into Vaporeon here. He's, he probably is going to set up his rocks. He does set up the rocks here. Okay. What we can do here is... I think we're going to throw up a Wish. I feel like having Baton Pass on here would be really useful. Um, he does go for the Toxic. I'm just going to go for a Scald here. Because apart from the Slowbro, nothing really appreciates the Scald. And I don't know how much... What I think this is defensive Slowbro. Looking at how much damage that U-turn did. And he, if we can get Snag a Burn on this, please Snag a Burn. That would be brilliant. We don't Snag a Burn, unfortunately. Uh, I am just going to go for Heal Bell here. This definitely isn't Mega Slowbro, so it's not as much of a threat as it could be. And we also have Bolt Strike and things like that. We've got U-Turn on the Sizzle, U-Turn on Lando, I've, and Thunderbolt on here. So it's, we've got ways around this guy. He is going to go for the Calm Mind here. This is where Baton Pass will be really nice. Really, really nice. Let's see. I think we're going to stay in and we're going to school. Because I think he's going to go for a move here. 
He does go for the side shock here. Okay. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for, hope for burns. I think so. We need we need we need a burn on this. He does just go for another calm mind. Okay. Considering his move set and what he decides to go for, he has to go for side shock. So Victini, Victini, please pull through for me. Oh, he does he does predict us. That was a very very well played prediction there. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go out into Sizzle, and we're going to go for a U-turn. I know it's uninvested, but it should still do a really good, decent chunk. 39%, okay. And we're going to go back out to Vape. This is where the Tom Pass would be excellent. Okay. We just need to switch into Hooper, actually. That's going to be the thing that's going to make the difference. And actually, he can't... He's not going to go for school this turn, is he? Is he going to be that real? He isn't that real. Okay. Okay, we're in a good position now. Because... <sighs> Showdown hasn't saved my set, but knockoff will still kill. So that's fine. Hula hula. <laughs> oh, phew. Okay, I'm glad I I'm glad I risked it with the Victini more than this. Because this thing's going to be useful. Because it can outspeed the Heatran. It can damage the Klefki. Um... Reasonably, uh, I guess it does okay with the Klefki. Oh, oh no, I got Fire Punch, I got Fire Punch, that's okay. Does go onto the Klefki here. And, it, yeah, Showdown hasn't changed my... <sighs> Showdown, for some reason, doesn't seem to be saving my sets, which is really upsetting. What we're going to do here is we're going to go out to Menentric and go for the Thunderbolt. Because I think he's going to just set up Reflect here. He does go for the T-Wave. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. And I'm actually going to go for the Volt Switch here because I think the Heat Tram might come in. Or he's going to set up the Light Screen and that means we can go into Lando. Probably go for Stone Edge because the Gengar then has to come out. But no, um, while he's doing that, I'm definitely going to change this back. Because this was this I changed this to Life Orb as you guys saw. But Showdown for some reason just is completely ignoring any changes that I make to this team. And any of my other teams and it's... Uh, costing me matches, which is a shame. He does go into this. Okay. Especially defensive. Um, 217. Probably our best bet is the Landorus. And just go for this. Do we go for Stone Edge, though? I mean, Hula Hula, he's not going to be max speed. Problem is that baits in a lot of things. And the question is, do I want to do that? Why not? Let's go for that. Um, and we're just going to go for knockoffs. So I know that's resisted by the Klefki. Uh, if he does decide to bring that in. But um, I can always heal bell that T-Wave off. If he does decide to get into that. And... Um, even the Bishop's not going to appreciate this. He does go into this. We're going to go out. We're going to have to make some plays. We're going to make some plays. He's going to go for Fake Out here. Because he doesn't know if I'm Scarfed or if I'm Banded unless he's run the Calcs. And what we can do from there is a few things. We can go out into Landorus. We can Intimidate him. As he megas up, goes to the HGK. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind you doing that. We can now go out into our Vaporeon, as the Ice Punch is probably going to be coming through here. And that means we can fire off a free Scald. Please don't say I'm wrong with that. He does go for the sub. Okay. Um, do I risk it? I'm going to have to school here, I think. I so want to protect. I really, really want to protect here. But if he goes for any other move that's any form of setup, like sub-cosmic power or anything like that, is he going to risk it? Is he going to risk it is the question. He goes the baton pass. Okay. So he is the supportive set. Goes out into Bishop. Do manage to get rid of that. Okay, I'm I'm in a I'm in a fair position here. I can go for a scald. And we know that's more of a supportive lop honey. He does go for the knockoff here. 
and his life orb. Hopefully we can snag a burn here. We haven't snagged... Ah, oh, we don't snag a burn. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go for a wish here. Does go back out into key rings. And that means I get a free switch into Menendric. Because T-Wave's not going to do anything. I need to defog at some point. But to get some HP back on this Menendric would be fantastic. He does go... Th <gasps> we live on one. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, okay. Right, we have a few options here. We can go for the Flamethrower. We outspeed... Do we outspeed the Lopani, though? That's the thing. Because that's going to make the difference. Okay, we don't. But are we timid? We are timid. Okay, so that's a speed tie. But considering it's got HP and stuff, I don't think it's max speed. So, I think Flamethrower is the way to go. He does start setting up more hazards. Oh, that does a good chunk. And we can just go for a Volt Switch here. And that's the end of this. Um, from there, I think Scizor is the way to go. Because I'm specially defensive. I can take almost any hit. And even if I have to go down. He, even if the Gengar comes in and puts pressure on me. I've got ways around that. And I should be able to take a hit from that, that, that Gengar. He doesn't know what set to am. I could be choice banded. Does go out into Bisharp. He's stopping me from defogging. That's what he's doing. Um... Yeah, he's forcing me to U-turn, which is a, that's an excellent play on my opponent's part. Because otherwise he gets to plus two. So I'm going to have to U-turn here. He does suck a punch. Okay. I could have roosted there. I was so close to clicking roost, but I was worried that the knockoff would do too much. Um, and that means we go out. What's our most expendable member? Probably Hula Hula, but... After that amount of damage, I think pretty much any hit from those two is going to kill me. So I think Hula Hula is going to have to go down here. We have got Death Fodder in, for, for, in the form of Scizor. Menentric's going to be key here. Really, really key. We're going to go for the Drain Punch now. No, no. Why am we going for Drain Punch? Let's go for Zen Headbutt. What am I doing? Let me just cancel a few times in case Showdown decides to mess up. But I think that's the best play. Frustration is going to kill. Okay. So we know this guy's sets. He's return, high jump kick, baton pass. Okay. So that means we can go out into Landra's T. And we can go for Stone Edge. Because he can't touch us. But we can touch the Gengar. Please hit. Please hit. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay, we've done, done a decent amount of damage there. We've got enough damage off where I can now sack the Scizor. Yeah, I think we got this because we sack the Scizor. Goes to the Sludge Wave. We can go out into Menentric now and T-Bolt. Unless this is Scarfed. This could be... I don't think this, this isn't going to be Scarfed. This can't be Scarfed. Oh, it could be Scarfed, but I don't think it's Scarfed. It isn't Scarfed. Okay, okay. And then that's finally leaves the Lopani, which is a speed tie, but we have got Intimidates going. And because of the rocks and stuff like that, I'm not too keen. Uh, we could. I think we outspeed, though. So let's go for T-Bot. He is a speed tie. Okay, so he's max speed. That's okay. We can go into Landorus here. Intimidate him. And EQ's going to clean up from here. Unless he super hyper mega crits me. 24% Earthquake is going to take him out. Okay, that was an absolutely fantastic game. Really scary bits at the start, but uh, we managed to pull it together. Has a stack. That, that play with the Bishop was great. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Sorry, I was really focused with that one. I, I really wanted to get a win from there because that team was really, really scary. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle and I will see you guys at the next one. Caddy out.